everybody. This is Zach with Premier RV out here in Bluegrass, Iowa. We're going to go through a quick tour on a KZ Sportsman Classic 170 MB. Let's go. All right, everybody. We're starting inside the camper. Just inside your door, you've got your awning switch. You've got light switches, exterior light, interior light, radio with multi-zones. And you've actually got a lot of big storage overhead in here. Now, one thing you'll see right here, we got solar pre-wire. This is prepped for solar to be added to the roof uh, at any point, and then your controller, uh, everything would go in here. Uh, the wiring comes down, drops down right there. Swing back around, we're gonna hit the bathroom next. You've got um, an actual medicine cabinet with storage in it, always a bonus. You've got a skylight, whoops, skylight on your shower, as well as uh, a little bit of a tub if you need it, foot flush toilet, and a decent sized little wardrobe right here. So you've got a hanger bar up here and we'll swing around. It does go actually a fair bit that way. So really nice storage in the bathroom. Swinging back over to the kitchen side now, we've got a thermal molded um, countertops here. Now you do have your kind of traditional molding on the corners with that T molding, um, which is nothing really out of the ordinary for most stuff, but they are actually sealing along that back wall to make sure that if you do spill any liquids, you're not gonna have any issues. Overmount sink, a uh, deep actually overmount sink here. Obviously, we uh, have winterized this one, so you can tell there. Um, you do have a window in your kitchen with a shade. Now, that window does not open, uh, but pretty much all the others do, except for your front window. 12-volt Furion fridge. Nice thing with these 12 volts. One, you're going to get additional depth. Let me swing back in here. No cooling fins. So you get the additional depth there. You got eight cubic feet. Um... And they're a little bit more higher efficiency. They cool a lot faster, so you don't have to wait as long for your trips uh, to get going on your trips. And uh, you can still run them while you're running down the road. Standard microwave on this guy and more storage right next door. And you've got access for the back of your microwave if you ever have any issues where you need to unplug it, change the plug, swap it out. A spot for a TV on the back wall here, and you've got your cable inlet and more outlets on the roof. You've also got King Wi-Fi Prep, uh, which is uh, wiring pre-installed for adding uh, a Wi-Fi modem or router to your roof, uh, so that way you can have a cellular internet here. You've got wardrobe closets on each side. I'm going to just open up the one. Hanger, hanger bar, and actually a fairly deep spot it is a jackknife sofa in the front so you could if you really wanted to you could use that as a bed still um, otherwise you have the extra seating the nice thing with this though is it's a Murphy bed so you lift from the bottom pull up and then these come undone see if I can do this one-handed this is gonna come down and you'll see excuse me excuse my reach for a sec there is an actual end here. So this comes straight down and locks in place. So it's gonna lock in on this left-hand side of the bed. And then you've got a front window with a shade, USB on the right, two outlets on the left. And you even get a nice little uh, storage shelf on each side here. That's going to about do it for the outside, or the inside. We're going to jump to the outside. Um, whoa. And I'll come right back to it. All right, on to the outside here. I'm going to start on the front corner. Um, you've got a power awning just above your door, uh, as well as your outside speakers and a little porch light. We're going to swing down. I did put the bed back just so that you guys can see, but you're actually looking at uh, a full pass-through storage here, and then your bed when it's in the up position actually does take up a little bit of space. You can travel with it in the down position. 
So if you have your bed in the down position, you've got that extra space right here, um, as well as you have this all the time. So swinging around to the front, you've got a single 20 pound LP tank. Uh, here's the outside of the window here. Manual crank jack, but you could put on a um, power jack. Super easy, it's just those three bolts. Um, and running the wiring back towards the battery. Here is the other side of that compartment. And you're looking at a gross vehicle weight on this guy of 3,500 pounds. That's your total max that you can allow for this one itself. We get your outside water heater access here. Now with this, you're gonna notice it is an anode rod on this one, not a plastic plug. That's gonna help out with any places if you've got tough water. Um, it will need to be replaced periodically, also removed when you are not using your water heater or you're in storage because you don't want the water to just sit in there and, and smell. Um, city water hookups are gonna be right here as well as um, your shore power and your exterior furnace vent. Low point drains are gonna be right here as well and the dump station for your black and your gray tank. They are manual stabilizer jacks. So those are cranked down. It's a three quarter inch, <coughs> excuse me, three quarter inch socket. You can use a screw, screw gun to go up and down with those if you really want. However, they're not load bearing. So you gotta be careful. You want it down enough so that it's touching the ground, but not lifting or putting any weight. You have a cable hookup on the rear, as well as backup camera prep, and a single mounted spare tire. Now that can be removed if you don't want it on uh, say some people want to just toss that in the bed of their truck instead of having anything additional behind them Just those two u-bolts those can come off Now back to the front we actually have our fresh tank fill on this side um, So the fresh tank fill and the city water fill are separate and then you have your uh, fresh fresh tank drain right here These are single axle units um, So you've got the one tire really you've only got you've got the three total uh, but it comes with the lion head, so you do have a little bit of extra protection there for you if you run into any issues. One other thing I want to note while I'm here, and excuse my reach, we've got a little bit of obstructions in the shop, but you're looking at a uh, unloaded vehicle weight on this guy of 29.70. Nice thing with that is it is going to be super lightweight, minivans, small SUVs. Um, Subarus, I've seen uh, a lot of people with Subarus are really liking the stuff around this kind of weight. So again, this has been Zach with Premier RV, just doing a quick tour on the Sportsman Classic 170 MB. Check us out online, I'll put all the links in the description. Um, we are in Bluegrass, Iowa, not too far from the RV capital over there in uh, Indiana. And um, give us a call, shoot us a text, uh, or drop me an email. Like, subscribe, keep an eye out for anything new if you like our content. We really appreciate you watching and we'll catch you later.